if I told you, you could build a fully functioning web app without writing a single line of code, no spending thousands on developers or waiting weeks to get a minimal viable product or proof of concept up and running. All you're using is you're taking an idea, you're integrating it with AI, and in one click, you get your app up and running. Well, then today's your lucky day because I am going to show you how you can build a fully functioning web app using Hostinger's Horizons. This is a game changer when it comes to solo entrepreneurs, building micro SaaS's, anyone who wants to launch faster and launch with no code, this is a go-to. We're gonna dive into it. Let's get into the video. Alrighty, so what exactly is Hosting Horizons? I've got it up and running and you can think of it as your AI powered software engineer assistant, right? It is going to take your idea, build you a working web app from scratch and let you refine it with AI. And then it hosts everything in one place. You don't need separate domain hosting or email setup or worrying about deployment once you've built your web app and you're using AI to build it out completely anyway. So it's all handled for you by hosting a Horizons. They also have a multilingual support team that provide 24 seven around the clock support for any of your issues that you might experience while you know, building out your product. And finally, I think from a pricing perspective, what's nice is they have a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's nothing stopping you from trying them out, seeing if you like them. And if you don't, you can get a full refund within 30 days. Okay, so hosting a Horizons, turn your idea into a reality. It is a no-code platform. So it allows you to use AI to get your initial idea off of the ground. And then it allows you to use AI to make tweaks and to iterate, to develop it into what you want it to be. But in my opinion, it goes a lot further than that. So it doesn't just do that. It then handles your entire backend. So your hosting, your domains, if you want to have a custom domain, you know, if you want to integrate email, you can do all of that just within hosting a horizon. No third party integrations, none of that. Given its price point is the perfect starting point for a solo entrepreneur or, you know, a startup founder. If you've got an idea in mind, you want to build it out and you want everything in one place just to get going. And, and start building out that proof of concept, that minimal viable product, and then scale it into a full application, you can do it all with hosting a horizon. So we're gonna dive into a demo shortly where I can show you practically how you can build something out, but I definitely think that's where its unique edge is. Okay, so we are ready to build a demo. The idea I've thought about was something kind of simple, but I'm thinking let's do a client invoice tracker. Let's do something practical, right? So I'm in our little text box here and it's saying, how can horizons help you today? So let us build something. So let's try and see. Create a client invoice tracker that allows you to generate um, and store invoices. Yeah, let's start there. Okay, so try and create a, a client invoice tracker that allows you to generate and store invoices. Nice and simple, let's get going. So we're gonna hit the enter button and very, you'll see here on your left-hand side, you'll have your communication from your AI and it's building out your, your web app. And then on the right side, you'll actually see how it builds the code and then gives us an initial preview. So what you can see that's happening here is it says, please hold on as I work on the solution. It may take a minute to complete. And it's updating all your CSS files, JSX files, and all your files from a coding perspective. It's building those and updating them. And then obviously giving you your green tick that they have been completed. So the AI is building the code. I'm not doing anything. I've literally asked it for a start of an application for the client invoice tracker. And now the AI is doing its thing. So I'm going to skip to the end so we can see the result, and then we'll go from there. So we can see here it's completed. And on the right side, we've got our preview. So this is something that is invoice tracker. We've got a button to create an invoice. So if we click that, we can actually create an invoice. So we can say name Jagger, we're requesting $300 from him. And the due date is next Friday, create that invoice. Boom. So there's our invoice number. That's the client. This is how much... They owe us and there you go and we can create another one so let's say so my newsletter for example is AR, AR the boring so maybe that's five hundred dollars um, and that we can do for two weeks from now create that invoice boom so very simple so let's let's carry on building it and let's iterate a little bit more so let's think about it this way maybe we want something we want to have the ability to add in a description of the product or a description of the services that we're billing that can be selected so something like that maybe we can do like a recurring invoice so let's see could you please edit the web app to incorporate a description of the services that are being provided um, and then also i want like an option for like a recurring invoice right so maybe an unpaid and 
paid filter. So I just want to add recurring invoice options and, you know, a status filler, filter, um, something like that. Cool. We've done that. And we're going to hit enter. At this point, I'm not even typing, but it's now going to take in our refinements and it's going to refine it. So you can have, you can see a web app is building. So it's taking in all that information. The AI is then saying, okay, cool. I'll help you enhance the invoice tracker. And it's updating each of these files. You can actually see in the background here, we've got an error, but it's working through that as it's building out the app. So we just let the AI do its thing and go and iterate. And I'm going to jump to the end so we can see the result. Okay, and then a minute later, we've got the AI has completed our update. So you can see here, we've now got a, a paid, unpaid um, button that we can kind of filter through. And if we go create a new invoice, we can actually create, for example, let's say AI the boring. Let's do another one like that. Service description, AI services, amount $400, due date should be maybe this Wednesday. And this is a recurring invoice and we want it to occur. It's a monthly every month on the 19th. Create that invoice. Boom. Okay. So now we've got the ability to set up recurring invoices. So you can see here it's got a nice little addition to say it's monthly and it's for AI services. And then we've got different options, right? So we can say once it's been paid or unpaid. So let's go back to Jagger and let's say he's paid, boring's unpaid, and this one's unpaid. So if we go to paid, you can see there's the filter for Jagger. And if we go unpaid, there's the boring uh, one. So if we change this AI, the boring to unpaid, I mean to paid, when we come back here, it falls under the paid section. And very simply, literally in two prompts and in maybe four to six minutes, we've built out the nice bare bones of an invoice tracker. Now you can go and make it look great. You can make it work how you want it. And obviously you can add tons of different functionalities and build it into the application that you want. But if you're a small business owner and you need something to track your invoices, you can do it in two prompts, literally like I did now in six minutes. You don't have to go buy some piece of software. You can build it here. And if you need to add something, you just go speak to the AI. Hey, I want to add this, right? So let's make this look a little bit nicer. So let's say, hey, this is all great, but a current user interface uh, doesn't look great at all. I want to make it look nice and minimal and quite clean. And I want the, the whole user interface to be updated, um, you know, with some real, you know, base tones that, you know, looks really modern and professional. Cool. Boom. And then we're going to send that through. So now we can update the UI um, and you can just go through those iterations. Literally, you just work with the AI um, and you can, you know, set things up exactly how you want it. And you can build your application exactly how you want it which is amazing. You can actually see in the background, it's just changed all those buttons from black to blue. So it's going through, you know, updating the CSS and updating the code and the user interface now. So that it actually looks better and, you know, it reads better. And this all comes down to personal preference. Okay, so it's updated the UI. So we've got a couple of different colored buttons now and everything's looking a little bit better, but here's a nice little trick. So if you come to 21st.dev, this is a free website that allows you, let me duplicate this, that allows you to basically copy beautiful looking user interfaces and the code from those into your AR builders, so into Horizons. So for example, one thing I found is this uh, card. So we can use this for when, if we come back here, when you say create invoice, we want it to look similar to this. So what we're going to do is you come to 21st.dev, we, we came to this card details dialog box, and all we're going to do is copy the prompt, right? That's all we do. Copy the prompt is copying the piece of code. We come back here and we say, please, can you integrate the following code to change the look of the create invoice dialog box when the create invoice button is clicked? See below for the code. Okay. So we're just going to do that. And then I'm going to copy and paste that uh, let's go back here let's go and copy that prompt come back here boom so this is the entire prompt here and obviously our starting dialogue at the top and we're going to hit that so you're given a piece of code to take in from like 21st.dev which gives us free ui components to integrate that so it's saying okay cool i'll help you with the new dialogue design for your invoice tracker let me implement this so let's jump to the once this is complete and we can have a look at what it looks like. Okay, so that's done. If we come to create invoice, you can see it's changed the UI a little bit so that we can, we have this little radio button for a recurring invoice that opens up, opens up a further dialogue or not. 
and this looks extremely similar to our card we wanted to copy from. I've got another thing I want to use, which is these cool little buttons that have the um, gradients on them. So I'm going to come through, I'm going to just say copy prompt, and we're going to just copy it like that. I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to say, this is awesome, but can you please change the look of the buttons to the following gradient design, see below. Okay, we're gonna add that in there. Let's come down, let's go here, copy this again, copy our prompt, come over here, and let's paste that in over there, done. So hopefully this changes our buttons to a nice gradient that when we go over the button, it gives that beautiful like gradient look that's interactive and uh, starting to make our application look a little bit better. And obviously we're working on how it looks, we can also gonna work, you know, we can work on how it functions if you wanna add, you know, different components and. You know, when you click on this button, this is what should happen or should open up a new page. You can do that all through natural language just by speaking to the AI, which is insane. And we haven't had one error, to be honest, so far with with Horizons. A lot of no-code builders, we get a lot of errors. We haven't had any errors, which is a nice, a nice break from the usual. So one thing I'm really liking about this is the UI seems quite intuitive on how to integrate pieces of code. And it's not just throwing errors all the time seems to even we saw in the background when it blows out like this we saw a couple where there were errors but it works through those before it gives us a final product so big ups to to hosting and, and hosting and horizons because yeah that, that that'll be a definite game changer all righty cool so you can see here it's integrated that um updated gradient on our buttons obviously we might want to make these a little bit of a different color because they all kind of seem very very similar but when you say mark is paid versus unpaid, you can see that it like blows out, which is a lot easier than the black and white we had you know, a couple iterations ago. And then you got your filters here. You can make these maybe a drop down filter and come to create invoice, starting to look more and more beautiful, right? So we're gonna leave it at there, but you can you can go crazy with this. You can carry on iterating and carry on building. And I mean, I, on the membership I'm on here, I've only used literally five prompts spoken to the AI five times and we have something that we could literally start using. Okay, so once you are ready to publish and have your website live to interact with, you can just go ahead and get out of here, hit the publish button at the top. This is how easy it is. Hit publish, it's just loading and it will bring us a, bring up a window very shortly. And over here, publish successfully. Your project has been published successfully. You can access it via the link below. You can go ahead and get a unique domain. So if you've bought a domain like www.artheboring or www.jagger.com, whatever yours is, you can link that. You just go hit get domain and then you can link or you can buy a domain or you can just go with the domain that they give you here. So we say view site. This is live on the internet right now that anyone can access and anyone can use. So if you have a small startup and you guys need to track invoices, you can go, hey guys, listen, I built this in five prompts using Horizons. Here's the link start using it, you can track invoices, but done. All managed by Horizons, which is insane. And it's all using AI. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. So yeah, if you've ever had an idea for a SaaS product or a small business tool, you may be a side hustle or side project that you've been wanting to work on, you can now do that using artificial intelligence and using hosting a Horizons. And that's the video, everybody. Um, I hope it was beneficial. If you have an idea that you've been waiting to build and it's been itching at you, now is the time to do so. We are living in the artificial intelligence boom. It's only gonna get faster from here on out. So go ahead and build that product. Also, the guys and girls at Hostinger have given me a 10% discount code that I wanna share with you guys. It's on screen at the moment. All you wanna do is come to Horizons. You'll hit the landing page. You just literally go say, start now. Bring you down to the different plans that are available. Find a plan that works for you. They've got four different plans that are priced really well, all the way from started up to pro. You hit the plan that you want, say select plan. It brings you to your car checkout. Say have a coupon code. Yes, you do because you follow me. And just input Jagger 10 as I'm doing right now. Hit apply and it will give you that 10% discount. Hit continue and you've got 10% Alva discount on your first month. So you can start using Horizons today. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.